Hi guys, my name is Trinity, and if you are here, you must be here to talk about books. Today, I'm doing my series check-in, so I will link below a video that I did talking about the series that I wanted to tackle in 2022. So this is just my update to let you guys know where I am. Obviously, I'm doing this in August, almost September, so we have some time, but not a lot, not a lot. And I want to talk about the series that I've tackled, the series I've DNF'd, all that stuff, so you guys know where I stand with the series that I had talked about last year. So first up, we have Live Ship by Robin Hobb. If you guys watched my previous videos, you probably already know that I am finishing up Ship of Destiny right now. Now, this is a series that is going to make it in my top 10. I absolutely love it. Ship of Magic was great. Mad Ship was just amazing. And Ship of Destiny is proving to be even better than Mad Ship. So I am loving it. I'm so happy that I finally picked up Robin Hobb after Assassin's Apprentice. I didn't think I was going to like Robin Hobb, but I'm, I'm loving Live Ship. The Wounded Kingdom by R.J. Barker. I have read it. It's right over here. And... <laughs> I loved it. Again, another favorite series of mine. I'm really loving the trilogies. I don't know what to say about that, but I, I'm really loving the trilogies. <laughs> so I also have The Bone Ships by R.J. Barker. I have started it. I am, I read the first book. I fully intend to read the second book as soon as possible and then get to the third book when I can, but I have actually started it. Black Jewels by Anne Bishop. I haven't started that yet, but I am very eager to pick it up. I have read the first book in the past. I did give it five stars when I read it, but I haven't had the chance to pick it up yet. It's on my Pop Sugar Challenge, so I just need to get there. That's basically it. I need to get there. <laughs> Shadow Dance by David Dalglish. Now, whenever I did my video initially, I said I wanted to start a David Dalglish series. That I have done. I read The Bladed Faith. I enjoyed it. I had a bad experience with the audiobook, but I do plan to continue. I hope to get the second book and see if I like the series. It was just the audio that was throwing me off, but I do still want to start either the Keepers or Shadow Dance or Seraphim series and see if it was just the one-off with the audio. Kingmaker, Kingbreaker, I have not started that yet, but I do want to. The Red Knight by Miles Cameron, I DNF'd that book, so I don't plan to continue with that series. The Thousand Names by Django Wexler, I am very much looking forward to starting that series. Unhewn Throne by Brian Staveley, I'm still looking forward to starting that series. Seven Kings by Kevin Hearn, I have read the first book, I need to read the second book, and the third book I think comes out next year. So I have started this series, but I really want to reread the first book and then read the second book and possibly read them close to the end of the year so that I can be prepared when the third book comes out. Powder Mage by Brian McClellan. I still haven't started that yet. Trader's Blade by Sebastian de Castile. I did start it. I have read Trader's Blade. I, The Great Coats, I guess, is the series, but I read Trader's Blade. I liked it. It wasn't my favorite, but I do want to read the second book and see where it goes and see if it's a series that I just need to set aside or if it gets better. The first book had some stuff in it that I didn't care for, and like there's just some scenes that were really wonkily written, and I... I I don't even want to get into what that was about, but you can see my wrap-up that I did with Trader's Blade in it and know my thoughts on that. First Law. As you can see, First Law is gone. I have pulled it from my shelves. I DNF'd the second book, and I don't plan to continue. I do plan to read Best Served Cold, but I am not a fan of slow-paced, character-driven books. And while I really love The Blade itself, the journey we took in the second book just killed it, and then I found out what the ending was going to be, and it was like, nah, mm -mm, not for me, not for me. That would have ticked me off, and I'd thrown it in the trash, and... Wouldn't have been able to handle it. The Black Company is still a series that I plan to start. Tamarare by Naomi Novik. It's a series that I plan to start. It's been on my TBR cart for forever. <laughs> Dandelion Dynasty by Ken Liu. I do have The Grace of Kings, so I do want to start that. The Red Light. Guys, I just got Bonds of Chaos, so I will be finishing this series as soon as I can get to that book. I'm so, so pumped for it. <laughs> the Divine Cities by Robert Jackson Bennett. Haven't started that yet, but I have read the first two books in the Founderside trilogy, so Founderside and Shorefall, and I do have Locklands, so I might finish that trilogy, even though I didn't get to The Divine Cities. Gentlemen Bastards. So I tried reading Red Seas Under Red Skies, and it was at a time when my brain just didn't want to process anything. So I have soft DNF this series for now. And then when my brain decides it wants to read something like that again, I will pick it back up. Book of the Ancestor by Mark Lawrence. I haven't read that yet. <laughs> Burning Blade and Silver Eye by Django Wexler. I, yep, they're right back here, guys. I love this series. Love this series. I've read the two that are out. I'm just waiting on the third one to come out. Lost Queen by Signe Pike. I keep meaning to pick that one up, and I still haven't done that one yet. The Great Bastards. Now, I think I'm taking this off the list. I really wanted to read it because of all of the praise that it was getting, but I've heard it ends badly. Like there's people that I trust that do not like the ending and they say reading the series wasn't worth it. So I think that I'm just going to take this off my list. I hate to do that. I really like to read series to find out for myself, but the people who have told me this are people I trust. And so I'm just going to not read the series. <laughs> of Blood and Bone, I have yet to start. I do have them. I own them. So <laughs> I do plan to read them. The Shadow Histories by H.G. Perry. I've owned the first book since it came out, and I've recently purchased the second. I just haven't started them yet. The Arthurian Tales by Giles Christian. I do plan to read those. The Legacy Series by Matthew Ward. It's on my TBR cart. I just need to start reading it. And I think that's it. That's it. <laughs> so this is a short video, but it's just an update for the series that I said I was going to read and letting you know if I read them, if I started them, or if I still need to get to them. That's it for me today. Like, subscribe, do all the fun things. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!